Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. Today we are talking about gaming and gaming on the iPhone, the iPad, heck, even the Apple TV. Now, Apple has released some new App Store guidelines, guidelines 3.12 and 3.13. These new guidelines address a bunch of different stuff, but what we care about is gaming. And there are a few new changes to these app store policies that open the doors for game streaming to finally officially come to iPhone and iPad. So what changed? Basically the problem that Apple had with games like, or apps like Project xCloud from Microsoft, Google Stadia, and others, is that all the games are essentially available outside of the App Store. So you would download the one primary app, like the Project xCloud app, and it would have a catalog of games inside. And you could choose any of those, stream them, and play them right through that one app. Easy for the user, but it also kind of got around some of the App Store guidelines because you were able to uh, purchase things outside of the app and you were able to stream those games without having their ratings checked against the App Store. So if you had specific parental controls, on a phone, maybe you allowed that Project xCloud app, but then that kid went and downloaded an M-rated game that you didn't allow. There could be issues there with child safety and what they're allowed to see. So there were problems with parental controls and purchases going on outside the app. So with these new policy, Apple has made a few changes. Now streaming apps, streaming gaming apps are explicitly allowed, assuming they make all the games available outside of the primary catalog app. And all those are submitted for review through the App Store and have all the proper metadata and ratings that you would expect. So essentially what that means, if there's a gaming streaming service out there, maybe Project xCloud, and they offer 11 or so different games, Microsoft would have to submit 12 apps to the App Store. One for the catalog app where you could purchase a subscription using an in-app purchase, and it would give you all the different games that come with your subscription. All those games would be just linked to the individual apps themselves. All of those individual games are submitted and have their own app store listings. Now, it gets a little wonky when you have maybe a certain game available through multiple streaming platforms. Maybe Call of Duty is available through Project X Cloud and Google Stadia. Does it have multiple app store listings? gets a little funny there and Apple doesn't really have clarity on what that's actually going to mean. But it is clear Apple is allowing these streaming apps to come to the App Store, of assuming that they're applying and using all of the applicable rules of the App Store. Honestly, this is both good and bad. On the plus side, Apple is now officially allowing these streaming gaming apps to come to the App Store. And it is very good that Apple is being serious about all of its uh, safety precautions, reviewing each game, making sure ratings and parental controls are in place, protecting everybody on the ecosystem. But at the same time, it gets wonky for both developers and consumers. That means you're gonna have to kind of go to each of these apps individually, which isn't a huge deal with a proper catalog app that can point you in the right direction, but it just seems weird. You have to download a bunch of different apps. They could be applying to multiple different services. Uh, and of course, developers have to deal with kind of maintaining all these app store listings as well as what they're using for other platforms. So it can definitely be weird and it's a tricky spot for Apple and developers to be in. Right now, these new App Store guidelines are brand new. Apple just announced them today. So we haven't heard really any feedback from developers. We haven't heard from Google regarding Stadia or Microsoft regarding a Project xCloud or any of the other game streaming platforms that are out there. If they are okay with these rules, if they are planning to adopt them and bring their streaming services to the iPhone and iPad, but Fingers crossed they find a way to do it because I love these gaming services. They're such a great value, perfect to complement Apple Arcade. So you have the full gamut of kind of casual gameplay with Apple Arcade right now, and then you have more serious gameplay with things like Project X Cloud, Google Stadia, and the like. So I cannot wait to see what developers do. I really cross my fingers that they are able to find a way to offer their titles on the iPhone and iPad as well as the Apple TV. But at the moment, we're just gonna have to wait and find out how everyone's going to react. Stay tuned to Apple Insider for all future news regarding gaming on iOS and iPad. Otherwise, we'll check you guys in the next video.